What's going on guys, welcome to the video. We got a quick update here, but it's more good news, especially after earlier on, with Lord West absolutely destroying Jeremy Corbyn. We now have the news that the Brexit party are standing down a lot of their candidates, namely in the 317 seats won by the Conservative party at the last election. This is good news for Brexit. While still we would have all preferred a no deal Brexit, this, at the moment, is the best we get. Now, Nigel Farage is going to stand candidates against every single Ramona in the country, with a major emphasis on going after the Labour Party for betraying their manifesto pledge to leave the EU as per the referendum result. Now, Nigel states the reason for this is the Lib Dem resurgence in the southwest of the country that could end up leaving us with a lot of Ramona MPs in Parliament. Personally, I think this is a good idea, and it was always likely that Nigel would do this. He was just possibly to try and get Boris Johnson to do a deal with him for a leave alliance, which is the right thing to do at the end of the day. Now, obviously, the ball is in Boris Johnson's court for him to do something similar in the case of these Labour leave areas that the Tories are not likely to get elected in, thus giving the Brexit party a clear run through and the best chance of actually getting some MPs with the first past the post system, as we all know how that is. Now, this change of heart come about, as you will hear Nigel say in a minute, because of what Boris Johnson said in a video he made yesterday, where he announced Brexit will not be extended past the end of December 2020, and we will also go for strictly a free trade deal like a Canada Plus deal, and not a political alignment deal like Theresa May wanted. But anyway, enough of me waffling, let's see the clip from Nigel Farage earlier at the Brexit Party's election campaign in Hartlepool. Boris last night did signal a very clear change of direction. And I thought to myself overnight, well, that actually sounds a bit more like the Brexit that we voted for. Trade, cooperation, reciprocity with our European neighbours is what we all want. We all want to get on well with our next door neighbours. What we don't want is to be part of their political institutions. And if the Prime Minister is saying, he will make sure we are not part of political alignment, that I think is a significant step in the right direction. So, last night, I weighed up Boris's promises, and is he going to stick to them, against, against the threat, particularly in the South and the Southwest, that we let in a lot of Remainer Liberal Democrat MPs. So the reason I was quiet is I waited until last night to decide, and I will tell you now exactly what we are going to do. The Brexit Party will not contest the 317 seats the Conservatives won at the last election. But what we will do is concentrate our total effort into all of the seats that are held by the Labour Party, who have completely broken their manifesto pledge in 2017 to respect the result of the referendum, and we will also take on the rest of the Remainer parties. We will stand up and we will fight them all. So we're not going to fight 600 seats. Well, I have to say, I have to say, I'm pleased you like it. It's not easy. It's not easy. But how do we hold Boris to his promises? That's the key to this, isn't it? That's the key to whether this strategy actually works. Well, Nigel, though you will never be prime minister, that is probably the most prime ministerial thing you have ever done and we have likely seen in a while. Well done for rowing back and not risking Brexit. As I said at the beginning, we all want a no deal Brexit as Nigel does but we have to understand the realities of the situation, as Nigel is doing. And, like he said, he needs to get MPs in Parliament to hold Boris Johnson's balls to the fire if he tries to go back on what he said yesterday. Because, as we all know, the Brexit party and the Tory party not working together, or at least one of them not allowing the other one to work unhindered, is going to create a chance for Ramona parties to actually get in. Now, this is not going to be good if they can form even a minority government with them all collected together to form this majority, then we will be in big trouble, and obviously no one wants that. 
I certainly don't. But I do feel the Tory party now need to come out and give the Brexit party a free run at the Labour leave areas, or anywhere that is likely to swing towards the Brexit party where the Tory party has no standing. Because while this is great news, not standing against the 317 Tories might not be enough. There needs to be more of a buffer, in my opinion. There needs to be a pact in other places, both ways, if you ask me. So at the end of the day, this should just be the start of the Leave Alliance. There should be more to come, and hopefully there is. Remember, I don't support any political party, so Brexit is what is most important to me followed swiftly by keeping Jeremy Corbyn out of government. Jo Swinson, I would say, keeping her out of government's important, but she never going to be in government, so it doesn't matter. I live in the real world, not in Jo Swinson's fantasy land, remember. But anyway, I don't think there's really anything more to say about this. It's good news for Brexit, regardless of which side you sit on. At the end of the day, it's not the pure form of Brexit we all want, but at least Brexit party MPs can actually hold the Tory party's balls to the fire and prevent the Ramonas from doing any of the sneaky shit they've been up to for the last three years because they can back the Tories against Ramona bills, amendments and such. And with Sir Lindsay Hoyle in the chair now that Burkhuk's gone, we shouldn't have any more of these SO24 nonsenses going through. We can hope anyway. Now before I go, I want to thank our PayPal, Patreon and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot. And I will see you all in the next one. This parliament is a dead parliament. It should no longer sit. It has no moral right to sit on these green benches. They don't like the truth. Twice they have been asked to let the electorate decide upon whether they should continue to sit in their seats while they block 17.4 million people's votes. Parliament is a disgrace, but they're too cowardly to give it away. But the time is coming, the time is coming, Mr. Speaker, when even these turkeys won't be able to prevent Christmas.